Hey there guys, my name is Raxby and welcome back to more Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves here on the Sly Collection. Last time we finished most of the missions and we are all ready for the operation. However, you guys missed the operation video because I cut it out of the last episode. So how about I show you guys right now. Okay, synchronize your watches. This heist is going to take extreme precision. Here's the plan. I'll start things off by demolishing the palace's main bridge. That should cut off reinforcements from the guest house and hopefully distract the ballroom guards standing watch over the clockwork wings. Sly will then take Carmelita up on her offer for a dance, and while the crowd is transfixed by their tango, Murray will lower into the ballroom on the electronic winch. Once down, he'll cut the wings free and then winch back up for an exit. Murray should then make his way out of the palace. I'll cover his exit with the RC chopper. Once he's past the drawbridge, we're home free. All right, and with that done, uh, it's now time to play as Bentley, and uh, we need to make our way over to the start of the operation, which uh, is going to be a little bit of a walk, but luckily not too far, and it seems like there's no guards on our path at all, so... That is very, very convenient. Oh, there's one right there, but I think we can sneak. Yeah, just in between. All right, let's start. Bomb the bridge. Okay, Bentley. Murray and I are moving into position. You still think you can demolish something that large? It doesn't take an engineer to figure out how to blow up a bridge. I'll start by placing charges on all of the lower cleats. Once the structure destabilizes, those retainer rings on the upper cleats should pop right off. That should enable me to bomb all of the upper cleats, which will bring it all crashing down. Just watch your head when that thing gets unstable. We need that brain of yours in one piece. Oh yeah, we definitely uh, don't want Bentley to become uh, chunks of turtle soup or something. So, uh, first of all, we want to drop down here and then... Well, using a triangle, just drop all of those bombs. And uh, we want to watch out because chunks of the bridge are going to fall down and uh, you can get hit by that. So you want to just be careful of that. It shouldn't really be too much of an issue though. And uh, once you're done, just jump up and, oh, jump up and it should crumble down. There we go. And now uh, we have a couple more that we need to take care of. Um, I'm not sure if I did that in the right order, but it should work out one way or another, I'm guessing. I don't think they would uh, force you to do it in a specific order. Wait, did I do this one yet? I, I'm not sure now. Uh, no, right, right. Those uh, are definitely not done yet. Oh, damn it, I fell down. Wait, three more to go? Come on, why aren't am I not hitting them? I dropped bombs on them for sure, but eh, I guess the placement wasn't accurate enough. But there we go. Okay, slide the bridge is down. I'll warm up the van and get ready with the RC chopper. Good luck. What? The bridge is destroyed. Take all the manpower you need and look into it. Murray, you in position? Check! It looks like Bentley's little distraction did the trick. Initiate phase two. I'll take care of Carmelita and the crowd. You handle the heavy lifting. Miss Fox, I believe you owe me a dance. About time. I thought you had left. Just waiting for the perfect moment. And it's time for some more dancing. Uh, just like the last time when my commentary gets a little bit sporadic here, I apologize, but I'm not really good at, like, Guitar Hero-like gameplay, uh, so I need a bit more focus on that, and that might mean a bit less focus on commentary. Also, I like how you can see Murray in the background there. <laughs> it's kind of funny how he's just hanging there, steadily getting closer to being lifted down. Circle, triangle, square now. Uh, circle, triangle, and square. You look familiar to me. Are you in law enforcement? I often deal with police while on the job. 
<laughs> oh, Sly, you're so sly. Okay, that, that was kind of bad. But yeah, I, I just like like his clever response there. I mean, he, he's not lying. You know, he does deal a lot with police. Especially Carmelita herself. But... I mean, honestly, it's her own fault for not recognizing him. Because it, it's not like he's that well disguised. Um... But yeah, like, he, he wears the same mask he usually always does, and he's just wearing a tuxedo instead of his regular outfit. But you can still see he's a raccoon. Oh, I did not pay attention. Yes. I'm glad I got that one right. Okay, triangle, X, triangle, triangle. Triangle, X, triangle, triangle. That's also an interesting thing. Like, some people call the, X, the button, like, X. Other people call it cross on nice. PlayStation. So it really it's interesting. Like what do you guys call it? Cuz I notice I'm kind of interchangeable about it. I don't really have a preference. It just happens whatever comes to my mind quickest at the time. But I know some people really use one or the other. Tell me stranger, what's your name? Why ruin the moment? Huh? I I don't understand. The wings. What happened to the clockwork wings? What? How? Who could have... What? Cooper! Oh yeah, Marie, he got the clockwork's wings. Murray, I'll cover your escape with the RC chopper. Let me worry about the guards. You just keep moving. Yep, so now we're gonna uh, use the RC chopper to... Uh, Guard Murray, it can be a little bit tricky uh, to do, but just uh, drop bombs on him or on his enemies, not on Murray himself. Poor Murray, that would be really bad if we drop bombs on him. But yeah, we should be good uh, as long as uh, you kind of keep following him. Oh, I should have been on there. I was just on time there. Oh, no, 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 those are gonna get him. Ooh, I am. I don't know how those didn't get him. I thought for sure I was screwed there. Oh, please. Sometimes it just moves so slippery. Like, the RC chopper is always in movement. And you can only, like, control the direction. And sometimes it just feels very slippery. I mean, it feels smooth in a way. But sometimes it feels like it's too responsive. Or it, it just moves too quickly. And you don't have tight enough control over it. I mean, it's not a bad thing at all like it, it it's very much controllable still you know it it's not bad controls but it sometimes feels very like uh, it just turns so quickly and you need to really almost anticipate uh, how, how quickly it goes Punch it! that's a job completed we got our second clockwork part after the gang and I got away with the clockwork wings, Carmelita blew her cover and started making arrests left and right. With his reputation in shambles, Rajan was forced to flee from his own party. He's now in hiding, somewhere deep in the jungle. The gang and I took a break and headed for Bollywood. It took some doing, but we eventually snuck Murray onto the set of a full-blown Indian musical. I was happy the guys got to unwind, but Rajan was still out there. And somehow, I knew things were about to get tough. And with that, we have taken care of episode 2. But a fun thing here, episode 3 still features the same villain. That's right, since we didn't beat Rajan, we're gonna have to go back... Uh, we're gonna go to an entirely new area, but... The villain doesn't change, it is still Rajan. So, let's start the episode. And see all of them getting ready. It took some detective work, but the gang and I managed to track down where Rajan had gone into hiding. Somehow, he'd managed to transform a long forgotten temple into the thriving center of his spice operation. And it's there where we'll find him. 
The jungle, too thick to drive through, forced us to walk the long distance to our target. We ran into a few problems along the way, but pushed on. For the temple was more than just Rajan's hideout. It was also home to the clockwork heart. A pump so strong and tireless, it could increase spice production tenfold. Good for Rajan, but awful for the rest of the world. Hope he's not counting on that heart too much, because tonight, it comes home with me. Sly Cooper and the gang in... The Predator Awakes. Right, well, let's uh, just get straight into it. I'm gonna go ahead and play a Sly now. And uh, yeah, we have an entirely new area here. Uh, there is going to be one mission uh, to play right over there, and that is, uh, as always, it's kind of like an uh, an exploration mission where you kind of like uh, take some photos and uh, get some details. I think we can see it. Yeah, recon. That that's the word I'm looking for. It's a recon mission. So uh, that's what we'll be taking care of here first. Uh, so let's just, you know what? There's some bottles nearby, so I want to take grab that. Um, but once I get these two bottles, we'll, uh, start the mission, and, uh, I'll just get more bottles as we go on. Sneak into the temple, and I'll take some recon photos so I can assess the situation. Just be careful. If you get hurt, the nearest hospital is 106 miles from here. According to my map of the area, there should be a hidden passage into the temple behind that waterfall. Nice work, Bentley. I'll take a hidden passage over the front door any day. Hmm. 106 miles. That's quite far. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to make sure to not get uh, into any trouble here. Don't turn around now, buddy. Just let me pickpocket you. What do you have? A bronze ring. Okay, well you get to die then, because that's not worth that much. You know, if you had something very valuable, I might have let you live. Oh well. Let's uh, open this gate now, and then we can crawl underneath and get inside. Bingo, you found a spice growing facility! Now, from what I know of photosynthesis, all the expensive equipment should be found at the top of this room. That access tube should get you up there. All right, I'll head for the top. Now, I know that there, that you can, like, if you jump well, you can just immediately jump up onto that ledge over there. Um, which is pretty cool, because you can entirely skip this en entire room. But I honestly just don't know how to do it. So, uh... I'll be taking the long way around, uh, and I mean, at least it lets me pickpocket some more guards here and uh, collect some more coins. Plus, there might be some. Um, oh damn it! I didn't think they would hear me with the stealth kill, but they did. That's unfortunate. But yeah, it might uh, let me find some more uh, bottles too. I'm not sure if there are any inside here, but uh, if there are, then uh, I will be able to find them. And if I kill you, then at least, yep, their uh, attention meter is off me now. So we can just uh, walk onward now. Uh, let's see, what what is down here? Do I want to go down there? Or do I want to follow this? I'm not sure. Ooh, there's a guard here. Um, I do think I want to take out this guy, though. I do think that that is in my best interest. He doesn't have anything valuable, so he just goes straight down. Because it's not really worth it pickpocketing him. Yeah, no, I think... Uh, I think we do want to climb up somewhere here. Can I not grab onto that? No? It looked blue, so I thought I was able to. Okay, there we go. Huh, he doesn't notice me. Th that's funny. That's funny. Okay, well, we're up here now, up a level, but... Some of the vines around here are really slippery. Jump and hit the circle button to go for a ride. 
Thanks, Bentley. I uh, was about to do that. Yep, so we'll just uh, slide across this one. And that means that, oh, no, if we jump over to this one now, we are there at the end. Good. Here we go. So, it's now time to take some photos. And uh, this time I'm actually going to let Bentley do the talking about the things. Because he said some stuff and... Uh, Maybe it's interesting to hear. Looks like half of the heart is being used to super irrigate the spice plants. Alright, uh, next up is uh, Rajan himself. Although I think it's weird that we need to take another photo. Check it out! Rajan's carrying half the clockwork heart on that stick! Alright, uh, let's see. What's over here? The crane controls. Mm, that crane is keeping half of the heart suspended. And uh, one more thing is, of course, the entrance itself. There's the entrance to this level. Only I can't figure out how to get in here from the temple's exterior. Bring those photos back to the safe house. We'll really need to think about this one. Job complete. The clockwork heart is under some steep security. Heck, Rajan is carrying half of it at all times. To get at the goods, I'll need to gather some more information. Sly will plant a bug in Rajan's office, while I lift the spice operation blueprints off the spice lord while he makes his rounds. Unfortunately, while we're collecting intelligence on him, He'll be collecting data on us with an elephant-driven satellite array. Take it out, or he'll be able to intercept all of our communications. So we have a couple of missions to go. Uh, I don't think any of them can be done really quickly, so I'm going to quickly check ThiefNet instead. Uh, we have three new things that we can buy. Um, don't have the money for it, but you can see the amount they cost definitely goes up a lot um, so I'll try to uh, gather some of that money uh, off screen uh, for now though I think I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can find some clue bottles around the area and uh, yeah you know just get a head start on collecting those because I do want to collect all of them and now is a good as time as any as we have like one or two minutes left here we go, here's the first one. They seem definitely a lot more hidden here. I think I need to look up higher up. And uh, yeah, because down below, I couldn't really find any. Well, there is one down by the ground here. So I guess uh, what I said before wasn't entirely accurate. Oh, and they're going to let the other one. There's also one up there, but I'm not sure how to get up there entirely. Um, oh, come on. I just spawned a lot more new guys, huh? Didn't I? Uh, oh, right. I can just do it like that. There we go. Now let me get rid of these guys. Ooh, I see one over here. I'm probably sure these are supposed to slide down, but if you just jump a lot, you can actually get back up them. So, that's a thing. Right. Looks like there are a couple here. So, let's see. Can we get up here? Yes, we can that one now for that one how do we get up there is the question right I found my next one underneath here and there's another one over there okay I think I can get that one like this good all right found my next one right up here um, and there's another one down there can I jump that from here I'm not sure but I'm gonna give it a try yes I at least got the bottle that really is what matters Ooh, found another one right up here it's a uh, pretty near base and oh this is also a good place to climb the tree so I have to remember this place for sure I kind of forgot this level in all honesty I forgot how it like how its layout was and everything like that so uh, I'm gonna have to uh, off screen just like kind of like get my bearings again and uh, what okay that was interesting I uh, yeah get my bearings again and uh, 
then uh, next episode I should be all good. Let's try this again. There we go. That's how it's supposed to go. And that's half of the bottles. Not bad at all. Okay, if we slide down here, we can get this one. Uh, there's also that one over there. And I think if we go take this pot now, we can get a couple more bottles. Because there's one, of course, right over here. Then there's another guard. I'm going to just uh, punch him off the level. Uh, that will allow us to keep moving on here. And we can now climb up this part here. Because um, there was that one bottle over there. Of course, yes. Um, there we go. Uh, we can also grab this treasure. Oh, it's, it's booby-trapped. Okay, well, come on. Okay, and now I'm going to make a run back home, back to the start, and oh shit, I got spotted. That's, that's never good. That's never good. Especially not when you have um, a self-destructing thing on your back. Um, shit, where do I need to go? I always lose track of where start is. Uh, no, come on. Okay, it should be somewhere around here. Okay, 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 I know where start is now. Ah, oh, damn, but I got spotted. Isn't there a mushroom? Oh, there it is. Ugh, I keep walking past a mushroom. That is very, very dumb. But that's okay, that's okay. If I jump up here and enter, we're all good. Ah, so I got a good amount of bottles. Uh, I earned... Ooh, I have 1,200 coins. Very nice. So I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this upgrade. And I'll also buy this one. I'll have to collect some more coins for the Juggernaut troll. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then do consider subscribing to my channel. And leave a thumbs up because that's always very much appreciated too. See you guys next time when we continue exploring this new area.